The Parkinson's class begins with movement, breathing, and vocalization. People with Parkinson's face unique challenges because of the toll the disease takes on the body. It causes ner interruption with nerves, so that can be any nerve in your body. So some people freeze, some people have tremors, some people stutter, some people have speech impairments. You have your muscles are all contracting and everything wants to come, come in and get smaller because you don't want to use it anymore. Every exercise is designed to help those afflicted by the disease, each one with a specific goal and achievement in mind. So we work on flexibility, power moves, big expansive motions, a lot tall, up big. I also work on balance and we do and, and leg strengthening as, as we stand on one leg or the other. The movements lead to better flexibility and patients enrolled in the class say they're seeing a difference in a short period of time. Strengthen me and strengthen my legs and balance and different exercises and helps me with my parts in great ways. Instructor Mary Nichols keeps a close eye on every patient because each and every one is different, some able to do more than others. Safety is a top priority. Some need to be slower paced for some of them. They're all at different stages of the disease and their different possible symptomology can vary from stage to stage. Three, four, five, six, clap. For these patients, the countdown to a better life is already underway. The change has come. It's helping me do a lot of things that I couldn't do before the class. The exercise puts everything in motion. Mary takes great pride in helping these patients, helping them to a new life that's less restrictive and more enjoyable. I'm feeling encouraged because they keep coming and returning, so they feel like they're getting something out of it. I can see improvement in some of the patients that have been coming the longest. Having Parkinson's is certainly no walk in the park, but these walks certainly do the trick. You can see it in their eyes. They want to get better and will work hard doing just that. They just have to take it one step at a time. Doug Walker, reporting for your YMCA.